Greetings. My name is Peter S. Lopez, La Capita de Aslan. I want to talk for a minute about global liberation. We need to understand that if there was to be true, rebel, true liberation, the revelation of liberation for all of us, we need to think in terms of the globe, not just our own individual country, but the globe. The ideal of a democratic socialism is still valid. The ideal is to have it be worldwide, not just in one country where the American Empire can isolate, identify, and extinguish it, or attack it, as it has, say, in, in Cuba, People's Republic of, of Cuba, and as it has in Venezuela, other places all, all over the world. Many people are confused. And Global corporate fascism wants to keep people confused and fighting each other. A country will do what it can to defend and preserve itself, people of a country. And the point here is that we need to think in terms of global liberation not just in one country. Socialism cannot truly develop as long as the corporate empire rules the roost has is the dominating factor in world relationships. So we need to really not throw the baby out with the bathwater. Many people equate socialism with fascism. A lot of that could be because of Hitler, Nazi Germany, and the German socialist nationalism that Germany had. Germany was not uh, a global socialist enterprise for the people worldwide. It was a, a racist, fascist regime whose primary people were the Aryan race of, of German people. And I believe even Hitler was part Jewish. So the point here is to think in terms of global liberation and to do what you can in your own community, in your own country, to help liberate the whole world want to create a new world. It doesn't matter who's going to be president in November. That's a distraction. Now the Olympics are another distraction. Fascism loves to distract your attention. So we need to try to pay attention to what we need to do. Pay attention to the here and the now. And begin to at least think in terms of global liberation. This is going to be a long, protracted war. It will be the hardest struggle of humankind. And we must do this not as, not as a nation, but do it as the people of Earth. You know, understand that the so-called 1% of the haves are actually minus 1%. The majority of the people, the 99%, are plus 99%. So this is going to be a long, hard struggle. There will be a lot of turmoil, a lot of chaos. And what we need to do is, is to proceed 
in a rational, practical, realistic way. Not get obsessed, not be fanatics about stuff. Listen to the people that love to be your guide. And let's understand the power of harmony. We've got to get rid of our negativism, you know, the racism, sexism, individualism. All these are, are, are of the, what I call, negativism. So we need to have a positive outlook on life and work together overcome our differences, quit judging and condemning other people, and understand our five basic needs for survival, food, clothing, shelter, medical care, quality education, five basic needs. Those are our common denominators. So this is just a, brief video on global liberation number one. Thank you for your attention and help us come together.